The detective in a 2008 cold case that was recently solved thanks to new DNA technology says leads were non-existent until that technology came along. Earlier this month, 44-year-old Jerry Lee Gardner was arrested at his home in East Texas. Forensic genetic genealogy allowed police to collect the evidence to link Gardner to the stabbing murder of a man inside his Grand Prairie home. Fox 4's Amelia Jones spoke with the detective on this case. Amelia is in Grand Prairie. Amelia. Steve, Grand Prairie Police say they didn't have any persons of interest or a suspect in this case until forensic genetic genealogy testing. Grand Prairie is just the latest North Texas Department to use this DNA technology to solve a cold case. Police are calling it a game changer for law enforcement. In August 2008, the Grand Prairie Fire Department found the body of 45-year-old Raymond Hernandez inside a burning home on Channing Drive. An autopsy revealed Hernandez was stabbed multiple times. The homicide investigation started off with a key piece of evidence. The killer's DNA was found at the scene. The best evidence that you can have at a scene. Sergeant Tracy Henson was a detective on the case in 2008. The collected DNA didn't generate a match in the existing national database. Eventually, the case went cold. We tirelessly worked and put a lot of effort into, and we just didn't have any success at the time. In 2017, DNA technology advanced to the point that investigators could create a sketch of the physical appearance of the suspect. This is footage from Fox 4's coverage in 2017, showing the flyer put out to the public. As far as reaction, it was big time for us. Um, you know, we were hoping it would develop a lead in the case as far as getting the picture out there. But no leads came until 2022, when Grand Prairie cold case detectives learned their DNA sample was a match in two sexual assault cases in Fort Worth. The detectives collaborated with the Texas Rangers, who had a grant to test sexual assault kits using forensic genetic genealogy, a process that uses DNA to create a family tree and identify suspects. After two years, the results led police to 44-year-old Jerry Lee Gardner. Gardner was arrested on October 4th at his home in Lufkin, Texas. He's currently charged with capital murder. Well, it was pretty exciting. Um, you know, there was a lot of work put into it. And so it's not just us that cracked the case. The Bodie Lab uh, is a big player in this, as well as the Texas Rangers. This is the first case Henson used forensic genetic genealogy to help solve it but it won't be the last. I think there will be a lot more uh, cold cases, not just murders, but maybe sexual assault solved through this. Uh, so it's a big game changer for law enforcement. One that could bring justice to many more families. Yeah, it makes you love your job. Sergeant Henson says genealogy is expensive, or rather genealogy testing, I should say. So they're doing it on a case-by-case -case basis right now. Sergeant Henson says detectives are also still working to figure out a motive behind this murder. According to public records, Gardner has not been charged in connection to those two sexual assault cases out of Fort Worth.